Good morning, everybody. I'm here to share something today that's near and dear to my heart. I'm going to be talking about the Magnificent Seven, which is also known as the Seven Spirits of God. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with this uh, Seven Spirits or the Seven Spirits Anointing, um, I encourage you to check it out in Isaiah 11, verse 2. So back in 2016, I was doing a lot of research on angels. I was studying all the names of different angels. I was encountering angels. Um, my youngest son, who's also a seer, was experiencing this. And when I was in the middle of my research, I heard an audible voice say to me, you will see the Magnificent Seven. And at first I didn't know what that meant. I, um, when I researched it, I actually laughed now because I looked up the Magnificent Seven and it was this old Western movie. Actually, they did a remake of it later, but where um, this town was being harassed by these, um, I don't know, these villains and they just kept coming in and tormenting them. The woman had even lost her husband um, due to these attacks. And so she set out on this search and this search led to her to finding these seven men who came to defend um, their town. It's a really fun story, but that was not the direction that the Lord was pointing me in. Um, the Lord was um, showing me that the Magnificent Seven were actually the seven spirits of God. And in a way, they're like those men that came in and fought and defended the town. Um, so when you receive that infilling of that seven spirits anointing the um each one has a different aspect and a role that they play in your life to defend you you know and encourage you and keep you on the right path so um so in isaiah 11 it talks about the spirit of the lord so if you can envision yourself as a lampstand and you're standing there and you receive that anointing oil that would be the spirit of the lord represented by red um, then if you imagine, um, yourself as the lamb stands, so each of these, um, branches of this candlestick, the spirit of wisdom is lit up. The spirit of understanding is lit up. The spirit of counsel, the spirit of power of might, the spirit of, uh, knowledge of revelation, and also the spirit of the fear of the Lord, which I call awe and reverence. So, um, an interesting thing about these is the Lord, um, I took time each week to do a study on each of these seven spirits and the Lord um, showed me scripture verses. He even showed me extra biblical um, works in which stories of how the spirit of the Lord transported people, um, you know, did so many miraculous things but um today instead of getting all the into all those things and i eventually in future videos will share um different miraculous things and how each spirit um worked in my life in different ways i want to talk to you about a vision i had but it is in connection with um the seven spirits but it's also in connection with david and it's also in connection with 444 um, frequency of love, key of David, um, heaven. So anyway, in this vision, I was standing before a harp and mind you, I do not play the harp, play the clarinet, but no harp. Um, I knew someone who played it and they explained it a little to me as far as how each note went in succession by the strings. Um, but what happened in the vision was David, King David, he came over my shoulder and the harp that was before me, he showed me how to pluck each string. And so as he pulled on the string of red, orange, yellow, blue, green, um, he created this music and I was shown how the harp, which is also the seven spirits of God in a sense, that it was a form of warfare. And if you think about it, when Saul was tormented by the demons, demons um, that were harassing him, he would call on David to play his harp. So if there's individuals in your life that are tormented, sometimes your mere presence and how you carry 
and how you interact with the seven of spirits of God, even though you're physically not there playing a harp, but because you seek the counsel of the Lord, because you seek wisdom from the Lord, because you speak, seek um, understanding from the Lord, each of these things come into play, um, play, I guess, <laughs> pun intended. And, um, and so you're able to cause the demons to flee. So that, that, that anointing of the seven spirits is a very, very strong anointing, um, that the, um, that the bride of Christ has and that we can use to benefit others, to bring them relief and peace. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be coming on soon. I've had a little encourage, outside encouragement from a brother in Christ who encouraged me to keep doing the videos. And I have to remind myself, overthink things a lot. And I tend to delete things and re-record things. And I think now I'm just trying to go with the flow of things. And um, before I go today, there's one little word I also wanted to slip in there. It's kind of off topic, but, um, it's related to the topic of, um, kingdom spouses and, um, a little issue concerning confusion, like when will I meet them? Or if I have met them, how come, you know, they don't see it like I see it. And anyway, there was a situation a few years back where, um, the Lord was speaking to me about a certain man that came into my life, a Christian man. And, the path that the Lord was leading me down and the path that I felt the Lord was leading this other man down as well was for our union. So, um, but towards the end, things took a little twist and a turn. And I said, Lord, I do not understand. I thought you were leading me in this direction and I thought you were asking me to do this. That's when the Lord spoke something to my heart that really helped me understand. And the Lord said, reminded me, I also asked Abraham to sacrifice Isaac. And that hit me so hard because yes, the Lord does show us things, tell us things and ask us to do things. But he, he just wants to see how serious and how obedient you're going to be. Because in the end, did Abraham actually have to sacrifice Isaac? No, there was a better way, a better solution. So I just want to speak that out there for someone um, for encouragement because you're, you're being diligent. You're following the Lord. You're listening to the Lord. You're hearing from the Lord. He's giving you direction. And you think your life is going in one direction and it takes swift turns. And sometimes it will lead you down another path that you never saw coming. But um, just know and be encouraged that like Abraham, you're being obedient to the death. Um, you're seeing so much loss, but God is bringing greater things into your life. And I hope this encourages you and thank you for listening. I'll be posting um, some more in the future. All right, you take care and have a blessed day.